So we are now starting to use the epoxy filling method of joining the uh, boat members together. So as you can see, we've got a, an epoxy fillet, a uh, horizontal epoxy fillet running along the joint between these two members. We also have a vertical fillet running uh, up and down here between, between these two members. So there's lots and lots of filleting to be done on the build um, as everywhere the two pieces of wood come together, it has to receive a fillet. So the epoxy mix that we use for the filleting process needs to be the consistency of peanut butter. And in order to do that, we need to add microfibers to the mix. So we're here at my epoxy mixing station. Uh, I've got my uh, resin, epoxy resin here. I've got my epoxy hardener. I also have my microfibers. So the microfibers, um, they just really look like uh, talcum powder actually and that's what we add to the uh, to the mix to try and change the consistency of the mix so for applying the mix to the fillets uh, we found that icing bags look uh, work really well uh, we just put the epoxy in the icing bag and cut the, uh, the bottom off it there so we'll we'll make up our mix uh, we'll add the microfibers to the mix to get our uh, required consistency and when we're happy with the consistency of the mix we'll uh, transfer that to the pastry bag and uh, once we got our pastry bag all going here we're all ready to go we're back at the boat now and um, we're uh, just going to demonstrate how we do a filleted joint this is a uh, an old pastry bag, but uh, it serves just to, uh, to demonstrate how this is done. So we would apply the epoxy to the uh, joint. And uh, once we get the epoxy on there, then we need to shape it. And we use this tool here, which is rounded on one end. It's got for shaping. So we shape the fillet with, uh, with this tool. And the other side of the tool is flat, it's just like a chisel. And we use that to clean up any of the residual glue. And that gives us a, a nice clean filleted joint. So in certain places on this boat, we need to temporarily hold the pieces together before they're glued. And we, we use metal tie wire to do that. And in this case, uh, what we found is, is that um, reinforcing steel tie wire works really well for this. So we've put this tie wire in, we've glued these two pieces together, and now the glue is hardened. So we need to remove the wire. So I'm just going to remove that wire, we'll cut it off here, and we'll pull it, pull it back to the middle. So, we remove the wire. So when we remove the wire, we're left with a little hole in our boat. And as, as you know, it's not good to leave, uh, have any holes in your boat. So uh, we're gonna plug that hole, little hole, some wood toothpicks, and uh, we'll dip the toothpick in a bit of glue and just put it in the hole. And when that hardens in there, we'll break the toothpick off and we'll just sand it smooth. 